So guys, what's going on? We just had Vasil Lomachenko v Anthony Kroller. Uh, what a performance by Vasil Lomachenko. Um, he was just in a different class, different different league. You know, there's levels in boxing and that clearly showed in this fight. Um, Vasil Lomachenko absolutely destroyed Anthony Kroller. You know, I, I listen, I thought the fight... I thought Kroler, um, Lomachenko would win quite comfortably, but I didn't expect a demolition job like that. It was like Kroler was just didn't know what to do. Kroler actually didn't even know what to do, like in terms of throwing punches. He didn't know what he didn't know what to do. He was just circling around the ring, and and Lomachenko was beating the beating the brakes out of him. You know that was. I thought Kroler would have some success, and I said in my build up that I don't think Kroler brings anything to the table that would give Lomachenko any problem. What I meant by that, I don't felt like he had speed. I don't think he had power that really would trouble Lomachenko. And I was right. But I didn't expect it to be that one-sided. Like, I expected it to be one-sided, but I didn't expect it to be a demolition job. I thought Kroler would have some success in the fight. But what that showed is that those last couple of performances, we heard that, you know, um, Lomachenko came off shoulder, shoulder surgery. And he had some dodgy performances. Now, it could have just been that, you know, the opponents that he fought were a lot better. And he was tested a lot more than Crawler uh, was just, there was no, there was no, there was no test, you know. Um, and I just think Lomachenko, Lomachenko just steamed through him. He It was so easy, so comfortable. Lomachenko was battering him. And, and to be honest, you know what? I reckon in that third round, when Crawler was getting nailed to the ropes, I feel like Joe Gallagher or maybe the referee should have stopped the fight. In the third round, uh, when Lomachenko was, towards the end of the round, was really pouring on punishment the referee uh, looked like the referee had stopped the fight but actually he didn't he thought that uh Kral he gave start giving crawler a, a count because he thought that if the ropes weren't there crawler would have been knocked down um and um lomachenko and probably his team thought it was off uh lomachenko started celebrating and uh the the what's it called the the officials came in or the commission i think or maybe lomachenko's camp came in and then the referee told him to get out um the next round, though, Lomachenko came out and it was a, a, a bit of the, you know, the same, you know, Kroler getting beaten up. And it looked like, and I remember Andre Ward and uh, Timothy Bradley were saying that it's a matter of time before Kroler gets, you know, laid out. Actually, Timothy Bradley, before um, Kroler did get knocked out, Timothy, uh, Timothy Bradley actually mentioned that, you know, it's up to Kroler whether he wants to go out on his shield or he wants to go out... Uh, you know he want he wants to he wants to go out just but you know as a whimper like you know but to be honest I don't think it's not the fact that you know uh, Crawler wasn't trying he didn't have he didn't have any he didn't know what to do because Lomachenko was hitting him whenever Crawler tried to hit Lomachenko he couldn't get near him so it wasn't Crawler's fault it's like Andre Ward was right you know Timothy Bradley was giving Crawler stick then. Uh, uh, Andre Ward said, it's not Crawler. Crawler's a former champion. It's just that he doesn't know what to do. He can't do anything. And then the knockout, the right hand to the temple was, whew, the right hook to the temple was devastating. You know, that really crippled Cr Crawler. Took him to the floor. Um, and then, you know what, it was. It looked like he, had, he went down face first. That was a serious knockout. And like I said, Crawler's tough. Crawler's not somebody that goes down uh, that easily. And, and Lomachenko, whew. Hit him with a shot. I think it was not just that. It was the fact that Crawler was taking a lot of punishment. He was taking a lot of punishment. So it was a cumulative effect. You know, Crawler was getting hit a lot. He was getting, you know, he was getting battered. And I think the referee or Joe Gallagher should have probably stopped the fight anyway. Uh, because I think he was taking too much punishment in there, if I'm honest. Uh, and I don't really think he had... He, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't like he was going to go on to win the fight. So when a guy's just getting beaten up like that, I don't think that's good for his health. And especially, he just looked like the, uh, Lomachenko was in a league of his own. So, you know, I felt like maybe Joe Gallagher or the referee could have stopped it uh, before that, you know, not before that um, vicious knockout. Uh, but I think, uh, I think they gave him the benefit of the doubt, which I think maybe Joe Gallagher should have, you know, after the third round said, you know what, enough's enough because, you know... Uh, in his uh, Lenares fight, he took a lot of punishment, and uh, this fight, he he really got he got he got battered really. Uh, you know, he, 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 you know the thing is that you don't want to give Kroll a stick and say he didn't try. He did try. It's just that Lomachenko just took away all his weapons, and that's what Lomachenko does. Lomachenko disables you. He disarms you. You know, there's nothing you can do, and that's what Kroll just didn't know what to do. Kroll was confused in there. 
he didn't know what to do he didn't know whether to throw he didn't know he didn't know what to do and I think that's why you saw such a dominant performance by Lomachenko because of the fact that Kroller just didn't know what to do he didn't know what to throw he didn't know whether to, how to defend he just he was just confused in there and I think Lomachenko was just too good and he, he was just, he's just a better fighter, way better fighter. He, you know, there's about three, four leagues between these guys, you know, and it showed in the ring. It just, it was a demolition job, really. It was a one-sided, uh, one-sided affair. Um, and, I just, and, I, and I said before that I don't think Crawler has anything in his tank. I said, I hope he knocks him out and he hopes to land a punch. But I didn't think that Crawler had anything in his locker that would trouble Lemachenko. And I was right, he didn't. Uh, his speed wasn't going to trouble him. His power, if he had punching power... Where you could say, you know, Crawler's got serious punching power. You know, you could lay somebody out with one punch. But Crawler didn't have that. You know, if there was any punching power, it was coming from Lomachenko. Um, yeah, so a disappointing result for Crawler. I don't know what he's going to do. He's had a great career. Maybe he decides to call it a day. He's had a very good career, you know. He's become world champion. He's, you know, beat all odds. Let's not forget this guy was somebody that got bricked. And many people think thought that, you know, his career was over. He came back, became world champion. And then fought the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Yeah, lost. But, you know, there's no shame in losing to Lomachenko. He's one of the best in the world. So, you know, Loma Crawler can be proud. Uh, it's just that there's a saying in boxing. There's levels in boxing. And that clearly showed Crawler, Lomachenko is way better than... You know, Anthony, there's no comparison and that showed in the ring. Um, but yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of Crawler's performance. What did you make of Lomachenko? Who do you think Lomachenko should fight next? You know, Lomachenko clown Davis. Do you think that's a fight that should happen? I think Lomachenko uh, should fight some of the one of the top guys because these guys that are middle level are not really in his league. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.